Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a, a really quick sink. It's only going to take five minutes and it'll come up fantastic. Now we do cheat a little bit on this one. We do use a little bit of bleach, just don't let the customer see. All right, first of all, we need to take all the stuff out, give ourselves some room, wash down any food that's left in there. And that gives us a nice clear area. Also take out the plugs. What we're going to need for this is the spray and wipe. Give it a good, good spray. A little bit of jiff. Only about that much. You only need to put 20 cent piece kind of dollop in there. And now we're just going to get a little bit of Domestos and give it just a tiny little splash around and a tiny little splash around. And also underneath these, in these little plugs here too. Okay, and then just up around that edge there. All right, so then we'll get a nice wet sponge. And we're just going to work that in. Work that cream cleanser in, get that bleach all the way around there, obviously using a scourer. Sometimes I also, also use uh, steel wool, especially if they've got that tenon, that dark tea stain inside. So we've taken the plug out and we get a finger right beyond, underneath the scourer and right in there. And sometimes also, I just quickly grab my brush. You can use this and put your, you put your fingers around here like so to tighten it up. And then you pop it in the bottom and then you move it around like that. And you get that brush right in to those edges around the side. And that brings them up nice and shiny as well. Okay, so we'll keep going here. All right, so we've pretty much done, done this side. We'll do up around the top. Now when you're doing the tap, make sure you get underneath the spout here. Often we miss that. Press down nice and hard, working all that cream cleanser and that little bit of bleach in there. All right now, and up here onto the sides. And with these little grooves in here, make sure you get your finger right in there so we get that detail. Okay, about this pace, right along. Gonna get our finger right in behind those little grooves there. Along the edge, right on the far edge. Okay, well we've got these big open spaces. All right, now just let that cleanser sit on this side for a little while. And then we'll quickly come over and do underneath the plugs. And this is a good job for that little brush as well to get right in there. Okay, and then we'll do, just quickly do this side here. Hot water, just kind of slosh it around and work it in. Try not to get water running down the front of the cupboards and onto the floor. Obviously, the le least amount of water we can have on the floor, the better for the vacuum cleaner when we come through later on. Now, whenever you're using cream cleanser, you've got to, always got to make sure you rinse it really, really thoroughly because when the cream cleanser dries, it leaves that chalky, cloudy residue. Okay, so we're nearly getting there on this side of the sink and you can probably already see how clean it is compared to when we first started. Once we've got all that chemical off, we can see that there's a few little areas that we missed originally. Again, we'll keep rinsing the sponge. So I'll just get my scour right in there. And we missed a bit here. Okay, and a little bit there. All right, and the rest of it looks pretty good. Once again, just wipe these bits down. Okay, so we keep rinsing. Now we've, clean, we've, we've cleaned it, we've rinsed it. Rather than drying it, uh, we'll probably let just wipe the excess water down to help it dry a bit quicker. Keep rinsing, and then let it dry itself. And then we'll come back to it when we've finished, maybe when we finish the dusting, we'll just have a quick walk past and have a look at whether any of these water droplets have dried as a mark. And if they had, we can just buff them out really easily with a clean, dry nappy. So have a look at that. Put that side there and wipe around the edge and, uh, and that looks fantastic.